Hello my friends, welcome back to another morning of yoga with Andy. We are here at Samadhi Healing Arts Studio in Breckenridge and you are watching TV8 Summit. So stick around, grab a mat or have a seat on the floor and we'll get into a nice gentle warm-up session to prepare for your day out on the mountain. We'll find a comfortable seat to begin. Feel free to cross your legs however is natural for you. Begin to grow tall through the spine, lifting the head up out of the shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, let those shoulders soften, let the elbows feel heavy. Take a few breaths here, begin to find your rhythm, begin to slow things down for a moment as we relax for this next 20 minutes. Take another big inhale, and then an exhale, release. Now moving on from this, we're gonna actually get into a little restorative pose briefly before jumping into our flow. We're gonna find a reclined goddess position. So we'll bring the soles of our feet together, we'll find some space between heels and hips, and then go ahead and gently release yourself down all the way onto your back, onto the earth. Now if this feels a little uncomfortable for the hips or knees, you could tuck blankets or pillows under either knee if you'd like, or feel free to adjust the space between your feet and the hips. We'll have our arms out to either side of the body, palms upward. Feel free to rest the eyelids for a moment as we return to our breath. Now while we relax here, we're gonna change up our pattern of breathing here. We're gonna take some nice deep inhales. And as we inhale, expand the belly upward towards the ceiling and on the exhale, let it release inward towards the earth. Breathing in through the nose and releasing that out through the nose as well if that's available to you today. Remembering to bring those inhales all the way through the chest, expanding the rib cage, expanding the diaphragm, lifting the belly, and then exhale, releasing everything back out, preparing space for new oxygen, our energy, our life force. And then while we're down here, go ahead and bring your knees upward, bring the soles of the feet to your mat, and begin to walk those heels inward towards the hips a little bit. We'll find our feet about hip distance apart. Arms can come down to either side. Take a breath in. And as we exhale, begin to push through your heels, lifting into a glute bridge. Hips will lift towards the ceiling. You're welcome to take a quick glance down at either leg. We would like to have those heels right under the knee area if that's available. And then really begin to engage those glutes and hamstrings. We use our core as well to pull the belly upward towards the ceiling, just as if there's a string connecting you to the sky. If you'd like an added challenge, you're welcome to lift either leg off of the earth for whatever amount of time that you would like to hold, or you're welcome to leave both soles of the feet connected. We'll take another breath in. And as we exhale, starting at the top of the spine and working your way down, we're gonna exhale, releasing each segment of the vertebra back to the mat. Take an inhale and exhale. Now from here, we're gonna go on and bring your right leg on top of your left. And then if you have your right leg on top, bring your right elbow down, stack left elbow on top. Option to bring the tops of the hands together or you're welcome to wrap the wrists if that feels okay. We're gonna go on and bring your fingers over your head to the back of the mat behind you. Take a breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna round upward for a little crunch. We're gonna shoot for bringing our elbows towards the knees. If they don't quite touch, that's okay. We're just bringing it in that direction. Be sure to engage the lower belly as you hold. We'll come back down, take a breath in. Exhale, rolling back up to your eagle crunch. We'll hold for a full breath. And then coming back down towards the mat. Full breath in, and then as you exhale, coming back up on that contraction. And releasing back down. Go to bring arms nice and wide. Uncross the legs, shake it out, bring knees side to side for a moment. We'll bring opposite leg on top. So for you guys, that'll be left leg stacked on top of your right. Left elbow will come down first, right elbow will stack. You can bring tops of the hands together or wrap the wrists. Take a breath in, reaching fingertips behind you. Exhale, rolling up for your crunch. Again, you can come up all the way to the knees if you'd like an added challenge, continue to hold. We'll inhale as we release back down. Exhale, roll up, contract. And inhale as we come back down. Feel free to come up to whatever amount you'd like, depending on what level of intensity you'd like this morning. 
be sure to engage the core. We'll inhale as we release back to the earth. Taking a couple more rounds. And you can release the arms, bringing them wide again, uncross the legs, shake things out side to side. So we're gonna come on up back to our seat. Come on up to seated, we'll cross the ankles, flipping over our legs, and take it back to our first downward dog of the morning. Bring feet about hip distance apart, we'll push hips towards the ceiling. Relax through the neck, let your head just extend towards the earth. Pressing palms firmly into the top of the mat, take a breath in, and we'll exhale. Another breath in here. And exhale, coming to a high plank. We'll bring our shoulders right over those wrists. Feel free to adjust foot placement if needed. We'll have a nice line from our heels to shoulders. You can modify by dropping the knees at any point in time. Continue to breathe. Exhale. From here, we're gonna go on and find our flow. Option to hold any of these poses if you'd like to. If you wanna find another level of intensity and continue to warm up the body, feel free to join me. We'll drop through a low plank transitioning to an upward dog or cobra, and then pushing back to the downward dog. Taking another breath in, exhale back to our high plank. Now from here, we're gonna go on and bring your right hand to the center of your mat and open up for a side plank. Left arm's gonna reach nice and high towards the ceiling. Option to modify by dropping your lower knee to the earth, or you can intensify things by lifting the upper leg to elevate or coming back to an um, in-between position with both feet on the ground. Take a breath in. We're gonna start to fly the arm as far back as the body allows. Exhale, give yourself a little hug. Wrapping the arm around the rib cage, inhale, fly back up. Exhale, wrap around the rib cage. Inhale as we return upward. Last round, coming in for that hug. Hold for a full breath, finding your obliques as you twist. Release left hand to your mat come back to center. We'll take a breath in, and then from here we're gonna actually lower all the way to our mat before we go to the other side. So we'll come down onto our belly, bring your right arm nice and long, straight out to the side, palm turned down. We'll look to your left, left hand is just outside the line of the chest, take a breath in, and as you exhale, pushing through that palm, begin to stack your hips one on top of the other. So you're welcome to relax the neck at this point, we'll hold for a few breaths. Remembering to keep your head on the ground, make sure you're not straining your neck to lift. Now a couple options here, depending on how your shoulder and chest area is feeling at this point, you could bring your top knee down onto your mat in front of you to modify. This is feeling a little intense. If you'd like a more intense variation, you're welcome to bring that top knee upward and bring the sole of the foot behind you. Any of those options are great. Read your own body and adapt to what feels best for you today. And we'll bring our legs back to stack, begin to roll back to the belly, coming back to our mat. We'll come back to center, bringing hands back to either side of our chest. Take a breath in. We're gonna come up for a little baby cobra. Begin to engage the muscles in the back, lifting the heart nice and high. And relax back down. Feel free to turn your head to either side. Take a full breath in and out. We'll inhale, coming back up. A couple different options. You could return to a cobra, maybe taking a more full option, or you could come to a sphinx pose, bringing elbows underneath the shoulders. Still getting a nice curve through the spine. Notice how your low back is feeling. Again, if this feels too much, you can definitely find a different modification. We'll take a nice full inhale, remembering to lift the heart, making sure our shoulders do not collapse inward. And exhale. And then we'll start to come to our hands if they're not already on the earth. And then just transitioning all the way back. We're gonna briefly come to a melting heart pose. Knees will be under our hips. Arms will go down nice and long onto the mat. Just as the name suggests, let your heart melt towards the earth. You could have forehead down or your chin could be tucked to lift upward. And then rounding the spine. 
we're going to make our way back to our downward dog. Finding downward dog once again, take a breath in. Exhale back to our high plank. From here, hitting the other side at this point now, we'll bring left hand to center. Opening up for side plank, right arm reaches high. Again, try to find the same variation you took on the other side. Maybe you were dropping the knee, maybe you were elevating your top leg. We'll bring the top of the hand as far back as you'd like. Take a big inhale. Exhale, wrapping in for our twist. Feel those abs work as we roll inward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, give yourself that little hug, wrapping the hand around the ribs. Glancing down briefly. Once more, inhale and exhale. Coming back down. We'll hold for a full breath and then releasing a right hand to the mat. Transition through your high plank, passing through low plank all the way down to the mat. Now this time we're gonna have your left arm straight up to the side. We'll turn head to the right. Relaxing your head down, begin to stack the hips. Again, you could bring your top knee to your mat in front of you. Or maybe you're bringing that knee upward with the sole of the foot behind you. We'll hold for a few breaths, find whatever variation you prefer. You can just slow down your breath again, use this as a resting opportunity from that core work. Relaxing through the shoulder, taking the opportunity to find a nice deep opening through the heart, through the front of the shoulder and pec area. Being careful with this, if you've had any shoulder injuries, feel free to modify as suggested. Two more nice, slow, deep breaths. Then after you release your next exhale, begin to return back to your mat, softly lowering. We'll return hands to either side of the chest. Take a breath in, find your back bend option. Maybe you're coming to baby cobra, maybe you want to opt for a more full cobra. We'll come back down, turn your head to either side of the mat, take a full breath, and coming back to center. We'll come all the way back up, maybe taking a different variation this time. Maybe you're coming back to your sphinx pose with elbows under the shoulders, palms coming down to create two nice lines. Take a breath in and exhale. From here, we're gonna go on and lift the hips, begin to return to our hands, and we'll push the hips back upward for our downward dog. Continue to breathe in and out. Good, from here, we're gonna go on and take a nice deep inhale. Start to walk your hands back towards the feet. We'll take an inhale as you rise to standing, arms reach overhead. And then exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale, rise. On our exhale, we're gonna cactus the arms, bringing our elbows straight out to either side of the shoulders, tops of the hands extending to the back of the room. We'll take another full breath, take it even further. If it feels okay on the neck, you could let the head fall back. Gentle back bend. Come back to neutral, reach overhead, and then exhale, dive on down to your fold. Inhale up halfway to flat back and exhale fold. Inhale rise to standing and exhale palms to heart center. Inhale rise. On our exhale we're going to cactus those arms again and find your little back bend. Whatever that might be to you, let the head release back to wherever is comfortable. Maybe taking it a step further than our previous release. Inhale, rise. And exhale, diving back to our fold once again. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Begin to bend both knees. We'll bring our hands to the earth. Walk it back to your downward dog. As we find downward dog, take a breath in. We're gonna bring right leg nice and high off the ground for our tripod down dog. Add a bend to that right knee, lifting the knee high, begin to remain squared through those shoulders. Take another inhale. Exhale, stepping that right foot all the way up to the top of our mat, gently release it between the hands. Option to keep your left knee elevated or you can release it down to the earth at any point in time. We'll take a breath in and exhale. 
We'll have our front knee lined up over that ankle, making sure everything is squared up, checking our alignment. Inhale, lifting off for a crescent lunge. We're gonna reach for the sky nice and high, lifting fingertips towards the ceiling. As you exhale, begin to relax those hips downward slightly. We'll take another breath in. Exhale, cactus the arms coming back to that back bend, challenging our stability on the mat, challenging our balance. Inhale, rise. And on our exhale, we're gonna come on down and give that right thigh a little hug, wrapping arms around that front leg. Really engage through your hamstrings and quads on that right leg as you fold. Still remaining tight through the core. Inhale, lifting arms nice and high. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, wrap again. We'll bring arms back around, let your right shoulder release towards the knee. Also noticing that stretch through the quad and hip flexor on the opposite leg. We'll come up one more time, stay nice and strong. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, rise. And on the exhale, we'll bring both hands all the way back down to the earth. Hands out to either side of the foot. Take a breath in. And exhale. We'll lift our back knee, begin to tuck the toes under. We're gonna go on and take a big step up, come to your fingertips, step left foot all the way up to meet your right. Nice narrow stance here with feet almost touching, knees relaxed. Inhale, rise to standing. And exhale, dive back down to a fold. Take a moment to bend each knee, walk it out for a moment. Remaining strong through the legs. Taking a breath in. Exhale, sinking deeper into your fold, relax the neck even further. Good. From here, we'll go on and bring our hands back down to the mat, bending your knees, step left foot back down, we'll find our lunge. And then stepping right foot back to meet the left, coming back to downward dog. On our next breath in, we'll bring left leg off of the ground towards the ceiling. Add the bend to the knee. And on your next exhale, bringing the foot all the way up, gently releasing it to the top of your mat, hands to either side of the foot, front knee is elevated over the ankle. You can have back knee lifted or release it to the earth. We'll prepare for our crescent lunge. Inhale as we lift off. Finding stability at first, pausing, continuing to breathe. We'll reach hands nice and high. And as you exhale, let your hips sink low. Take another inhale here. And as we exhale, find that gentle back bend, cactus the arms. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, give that left thigh a little hug, wrapping the arms. Resting opportunity and relax the shoulder towards the knee area. Still staying engaged through the thigh. Inhale, lifting nice and high. Exhale. As we cactus back, notice the stretch through our front torso into the abs, the psoas, hip flexor. Inhale, rise again. Exhale, wrap around. And last round here, staying strong through that left leg. Inhale as we lift. Using our core through these movements, exhale, back bend. Inhale, come on back up. And exhale, release the hands all the way back down to the earth. We'll take a look back at that right knee. We'll lift the knee off the ground. Step that right foot up to meet the left. We'll bring feet fairly close together. Inhale, rise all the way to standing. And exhale, dive down for your fold. Go on and keep feet nice and narrow. We'll continue into our fold and we'll have our legs so that they're pretty much almost touching at the feet area. You could have the opportunity now to reach for the earth if that feels a little tight, grab a pillow or a block if you have one available to bring under the hands. Alternatively, you could just come to fingertips as well. We'll bring our right knee to a bend, left leg's gonna go straight, we'll bring right hand to center, and then we're gonna inhale, fly that left arm up towards the ceiling. Take a look up the arm, letting the eyes follow it up. Continue to breathe in. Exhale, release it back down. You should feel a nice stretch through the outer part of the hip and thigh area. Left hand comes to center, left knee will bend, and feel free to bring in however deep of a bend you prefer, whatever accommodates the pose for you. Inhale, right arm to the ceiling. Continue to breathe. And exhale, Coming all the way back down. Bending each knee. Inhale, rise to standing. 
Exhale, coming to a narrow chair. We'll bend both knees, drop the hips, and then bring your hands to heart center. So lots of strengthening through the thigh and core area today. Continue to remain strong, we're almost through. Take a breath in. Exhale, twisting to our right. Option to bring elbow to the outside of the knee, or hug the thigh, or fly the arms open. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the other side, taking it all the way over to the left. Continue to breathe. Exhale, back to center. Exhale, release both hands to the mat. And then we're gonna come all the way down to seated. We'll end up in a staff pose. Take your time getting there. Legs are nice and long out ahead of you. Nice flat back, just like you're propped up against the wall. We'll slow down our breath again. Take an inhale and exhale. Next breath in, reaching high. Exhale, folding down the legs. Option to just kind of walk those hands down the shins towards the feet. See where the hands take you. Begin to travel as far as the body allows. We'll continue to hold, continue to breathe. With each exhale, letting the chest release toward the thigh and the area. Inhale, begin to roll back to seated. Let the head lift, find that tall spine once again, and exhale. From here, we're gonna go on and bring ourselves into a butterfly position with the soles of the feet connected, knees open, take a breath in. Exhale, begin to fold forward, bending at the hips at first, and then letting the rest of your upper body follow. Option to hold the feet, or you could walk the hands down the mat, either is fine. Begin to relax each knee downward towards the earth. You'll probably feel a nice little stretch in the inner thigh adductor area, but this is also a great opening through our low back. With each breath, releasing closer and closer towards the soles of the feet. Relaxing through the hips, giving our legs a little break from all those strengthening poses that our body just took us through. And then as we breathe in, we'll return to seated. Exhale as you arrive at the top of those shoulders, soften downward towards the earth. We'll go on and bring our soles of our feet to the mat. Go on and scoot your hips forward and rolling all the way down onto our spine. We're gonna make our way into our Shavasana or corpse pose, closing out our practice for this morning. Begin to take a few moments here to have some time to yourself of silence and stillness. You're welcome to relax the eyes. You can bring legs long.